be a very long night on a Monday of all things, man. On a Monday, you you don't you usually don't get this kind of League of Legends action on a Monday of all times. Oh boy, this is like Christmas all over again. Why not? Why not? Anivia, Malphite, Yorick, and Nunu. Bands coming on in here. I uh, guess you know seeing uh, seeing the Anivia play. You know, yeah. the last series with Dignitas, they do not want to be dealing with that. Just, you know, just just get, you know, right there, right at the curb. Not even going to be a consideration there. And, you know, Nunu. A, a Nunu ban, I think at this point in the meta, is very warranted by against a lot of teams. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's definitely a really strong ban. It is interesting to see the Yorick ban, though, because um, we have started to see Zion Spartan play a little bit more Yorick, and... Uh, Zion Spartan in the top lane, he's been one of the strongest top laners when you watch him. Like He's just phenomenal. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He can win most lane matchups. I think he's really close to being up there in that uh, discussion with people like Wicked and, uh, you know, uh, any number of uh, players like Dyrus and whatnot. Um, so we'll we'll see how he can continue to progress. But uh, there's still a lot of champions that he's going to be comfortable with. So banning out mm -hmm. both York and Rumble, they won't be able to grab it themselves. They allow that Alistar pick, which Dynamic will happily take. So they're going to grab that. Picking up TF though on Skara, this is exciting. I remember uh, mm. watching. You know, he's been playing a lot more TF lately, and a lot of that goes back to that early aggressive style that Dignitas is starting to adopt. Like there would have been a time, uh, you know, six months ago, we would have never seen TF or Skara play TF. Like it just wouldn't yeah. happen. Um, you know, he would play those kind of bruisers that can just sit back and farm in that mid lane. But we'll see where it goes. Zyra also makes sense as a pick. I'm excited though. I, I want to see the TF. <laughs> um, you know, they do have a couple of options here. Yeah, Korea you know, going going and playing in Korea will will definitely do stuff like that too. It's just like you know, make you consider your changes. You know, consider changes and champs, ones you may want to pick up, and also how you uh, how you run your strats as well. Because you know, not many teams get to have an exposure to other metas on the on the uh, degree that uh, Team Dignitas has. But there is the Zyra pickup. We'll see in a second if that Evelyn pick is for real or if it's a placeholder. More than likely a placeholder, but we'll see. But uh, there you go, Ari also being considered here from Dynamic. Yeah, and to be fair, uh, Zyra is a little bit of a safer pick here, particularly against the Alistar, because TF is very vulnerable to Alistar. They still have the options of someone like Ari, so mm -hmm. Ari Alistar would just be devastating for uh, TF. There, there's like no way he would be able to survive that leaning phase, yeah. um, just because of the hard initiation. And then in team fights, uh, Scar would be very vulnerable. Zyra, you know, she still is going to be vulnerable, but she has a little bit more kiting capability. She has that long range CC uh, where she's going to be a little bit more safe. I, I'm curious to see what this pick is going to be that you know crumbs supposedly didn't have the champion for i would pre presume someone in the bottom lane but i can't think of any bot lane champions that he wouldn't he would likely not own so um i guess we'll have to see you know maybe he doesn't own skarner and so oh no never mind um, so <laughs> skarner being picked up by dominate let's see here what's zion spartan's messaging me here eve equals ezreal oh okay there we go that's kind of a weird. I, I feel like everyone owns Ezreal, but uh, I Not guess everybody. Crumbs doesn't. So that's a very strong pick. Um, you know, Dynamic. They. I, I guess I was thrown off because Dynamic. They were close to picking Ezreal, and then uh, Dignitas was like, "No, you can't do that. You'll He's not. ours." <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's going to be a very strong pick. They go ahead with the Skarner. They could go with the Sona here for a little bit of survivability, give them that kiting potential from Alistar, or with like a Janna, um, you know, for the knockback, or a Nunu themselves. N uh, or no, no, never mind. Man. No Nunu. <laughs> There's the Lulu coming that back works again, too. though. You know, Lulu worked pretty well. You know, first game against uh, Meat Playground, might as well. If it works, go with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very strong bottom lane. Um, and they are very safe there. We'll see. You know, it, it is against uh, an Alistar lane, so it's going to be a kill lane regardless. Probably a Corky here. Um, and then we'll see if they decide to run a Vladimir up in the top lane again. Um, you know, just try and make things happen a little bit differently right now. It would be a very strong comp still. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I think the big thing is that if they run the Corky uh, Alistar, it's a very aggressive kill lane, and Lulu will just be able to harass them. Uh, the instant speed of Lulu's W allows her to shut down that Alistar play a little bit, so she can you know sit back, play you know kind of defensively, but constantly harass down Alistar and shut down that uh, that bot lane. So Graves works as well too. Graves works pretty well. Graves a pretty tanky dude. Lux not so much. <laughs> oh, they could run it. I believe Lux top, no, props, Lux top yeah. lane. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Zig does this every single game. I know. The, I do like the, the Aurelia pick, though. There's and so, uh, you know, Graves and Alistar, that's a strong bottom lane. But then having the Aurelia, I was thinking, um, you know, might be a Vladimir, but Aurelia is 
just as strong, if not yeah. actually a lot stronger right now. Um, and we were talking about that earlier, how Aurelia is just one of the strongest top lane champions in the game. Mm -hmm. She's just, you know, almost unstoppable in the top lane. Like, no one can really beat her effectively. She wins almost every lane matchup. And then later on in team fights, she can be very strong as well. Yeah, and she fell out of, we, we were mentioning this a little bit during the first set tonight, too. She fell out of favor for a little while uh, following her uh, last set of nerfs, which really just took a huge hard hit on uh, onto her sustain. But you know what? She's still as good as ever. And, you know, a lot of other top champs, uh, top lane champs, Managed to you know get to hit with a series of a uh, series of nerfs as well. So like you know what everyone's everyone's back down at their level, and there is the last pick, Jax, coming in for Dignitas to see if he can't do anything up against that Aurelia. Yeah, so we'll we'll see. That is a very strong pick. We haven't seen a lot of Jax recently, mm. but uh, that was one of the champions that Crumbs was very comfortable with, um, and has been for some time. So you know he's comfortable with the lane. He's a very strong player. We'll see how that kind of works. The big thing is that Jax can beat Aurelia as the lane progresses. And most champions, there's never a point where Aurelia stops mm. winning the lane. Aurelia just always kind of wins the lane. Uh, Jax, there's a point where you know, you just have enough damage as Jax to chase right. her down. Um, you know you get an early phage, so you have a little bit of sticking power. Uh, you get some quick damage. So we'll. We'll see how he decides to build. Um, you know, if he gets like a fast cut list, that could be really nice. The big thing why we've seen Jax kind of fall out of play is two things. One, his laning phase was nerfed a little bit. He wasn't mm -hmm. the unstoppable force that he used to be. But then also, um, high CC AOE teams can shut him down very easily. Champions like Malphite shut him down very easily. Oh, yeah. and the big thing is uh, Jax. If he gets farmed, if he can jump into your back line, he works very well, particularly against champions like Graves. So there's short-range AD carries. But we've been seeing a lot more of Ezreal and Corky, which Jax has a tough time with. Jax can't quite chase down Ezreal as easily as he would other uh, AD champions. Right. He can't quite chase down Corky because of their mobility. Works very well against Graves, uh, so we'll see how it uh, works out for them here. Yep. And it's very interesting to see how the top lane meta has evolved in just a very short amount of yeah. time. Because it's like, oh, well, you know, Jax is top weight now. You know, Jax is the best right now. And, and then, very minor changes, too. Yeah, and then Kale comes along. Out of effing nowhere, mm -hmm. Kale starts, you know, showing up top weight. It's like, well, Kale's the best right now. And then you got Malphite coming on in, swooping on in. And then, you know, Yorick, despite the nerfs, swinging back in. Aurelia's now back in. It's just like so many, so many changes happening top yeah. lane. Yeah, and it's small things like, you know, the Kale buffs uh, just yeah. made her a little bit stronger. People, the big thing is people took a look at her again, and, um, you know, she was slightly stronger because of the buffs. Not that significantly. Like, pre-buff Kale and after-buff Kale, they're very similar champions. The big mm. thing is the buffs made people maybe question her again. You, you take a look at her, you play her once or twice, you go, hey, this actually worked. And mm -hmm. um, then all of a sudden you see where you go from there. And it's it's the same thing for a lot of these champions. You know, after buffs, they're yes, they're stronger. It mo opens up more possibilities. But they're usually, it's not usually that major of a buff. It's just that you look at the champion again, you realize, hey, the way the game is currently played right now, this champion actually works this champion uh, is fantastic so we'll see where we go this is game number one dignitas versus dynamic yep. uh, definitely gonna be an exciting matchup and we'll get to check out these two teams um, I don't know single target damage though for dignitas all over the place there's a lot of it there's definitely yeah. a lot of it and basically in these team fights whoever Skarner gets is gonna die yeah period no. Same thing with Jax. Like, either of them pick someone off. Yeah. And then having the Lulu for the follow-up so that they don't die instantly in the middle of the team. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good follow-up. And, uh, you know, and Zyra's pretty, uh, pretty huge and yep. beefy on her own. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes from there. So, everyone's uh, everyone's repicked their champs here. And uh, just to uh, just to recap, these are not the actual bands. Just went uh, bru you know, breeze right through them. Some of them are. Some well, some of them are actually. So Anivia, Malphite, and Shen were the bands from Dynamic. Yorick, Nunu, and Rumble were the bands actually coming in from uh, from Dignitas there. And you know we were mentioned before. You know Nunu is definitely definitely warranted a ban right now at this point in time. Shen is a huge presence. Malphite's a huge problem. Rumble and York, monsters in the top lane despite those nerfs. And Dynamic, they stayed, They were watching a little bit earlier. They saw what the Navy can do with uh, in the right hands. And, you know, Scara, most champs, they're, they're in good company with Scara. Yeah, no, that's definitely the case. So uh, we'll see how that can work out for him. But going on to Dynamic's side, we recognize, all right, here's, we know the strengths of the single target CC that Dignitas have and the strong lane matchups and, um, you know, great burst and whatnot. Dynamic, on the other hand, uh, they also have strong lanes. And, you know, we'll, we'll see how that kind of works out for them. Um, 
you know, bot lane, they can push very easily. And so to counter out Lulu's aggression, uh, you know, Graves, he can control the lane. He can decide the lane positioning. He'll be pretty safe there. Ari in the mid lane, though, it, it is a very nice pick against Zyra. And we've seen it before, um, you know, where Ari, with her mobility, she can, you know, kind of chase down Zyra. She can try and pick up kills. Later on in team fights, Ari's going to be very safe. Won't have to worry about any of that aggression from Jax or, you know, uh, Zyra or any of these champions. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. But in actually a lot of the matches that we've seen with Zyra versus Ari, Zyra's ended up winning those matches. And yeah. You know, just that range, the long range on her snare, the fact that she can throw it behind minions, whereas Ari needs to clear the distance, uh, and then the fact that she has just so much burst potential. If Zyra ever hits Ari with a snare, then Ari's almost going to go down. Like, it's just so much damage potential uh, that Zyra has. It's really insane. Now, it's, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, does a sapling actually uh, absorb a charm? Uh, I believe it does, yes. Hmm. Interesting, because I, I still I still remember like a lot of like basic theory crafting too. Is that you know you do have a lot of champs that do have uh, those additional little uh, little minions like Heimer and uh, and Malzahar. Some will, will sometimes edge out against uh, champs that do use a lot of skill shots just because that's just a mm. that's just a, a shield for yeah. you essentially too. So what Zyra can do is you know, put down a nice little array of saplings there, not only to go ahead and clear out the wave, but hey, that's also another quick, easy hit to absorb in the event of uh, in the event of charm. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting thought. Um, you know, I, I I couldn't think of any reason why it wouldn't, and so that does uh, that does you know open up some possibilities for Scar with superior play. Um, you know, particularly if he's still do uh, dodging those skill shots, like we saw in the last game, uh, then you know that could be huge. But both teams. They have a lot of map control uh, presence. Um, you know, Nocturne, he's got great jungling presence. But uh, Zyra, at those objectives, it's one of the strengths of Zyra is to be able to just drop some minions and, you know, take Dragon or tra take a buff mm -hmm. very easily. So we'll see how that works out. Nocturne does have a jungling speed presence uh, advantage over Al Skarner, though. So, um, you know, having that edge and then also that global presence where Nocturne can be a little bit more reactionary. He doesn't necessarily need to be aggressive and go for ganks. He can wait for opportunities. Um, you know, yes, if, if there's an opportunity mid lane or bot lane, he could going for the kill but for the most part he can sit back farm and then wait for dominate to show himself and then appear uh, turn that around against them yep i'm also uh, thinking about this as well these two teams are very speedy objective based teams mm -hmm. you know Jax is a fantastic dude at taking things like uh, dragon baron zyra can do it very effectively as well but then again you also have uh, nocturne who will you know most a lot of the time naturally build into wriggles and you have graves with that attack speed steroid which if either, if either one of these teams manages to get into a position where they can sneak a dragon, where they can sneak a baron, they definitely have the damage to back it up and do so. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I mean, both of them can do it incredibly quickly. Like, if you haven't seen Zyra kill a baron before, it's just astounding. And not only can Zyra actually solo baron, but when she has her team there, oftentimes you can take baron in a matter of seconds. Like, it's yeah. just really incredible how quickly... Um, do it uh so we'll see you know how that factors into things um you know pixel i'm curious whether or not we might see him roam a little bit um you know if he sees some opportunities the big thing is that ezreal has enough range that if alistar ever leaves lane uh ezreal not range is in auto attack range range is in ability to just clear a lot of distance so ezreal will be able to uh chase down graves very easily and um just stick on him along with lulu with that movement speed buff so uh we'll see how that kind of factors into things you know, Nocturne, if Nocturne can get off to a nice start and maybe push Aurelia ahead a little bit, Aurelia could potentially get some kills against Jax. And so having that follow-up uh, presence for ganks is just huge. Mm -hmm. um, they can maybe set some things up early. But generally speaking, Jax is a very tough lane to gank and, um, yep. you know, will be pretty safe. And also, when uh, if, if Jax starts that snowball rolling, it is a very very difficult thing to stop because he just snowballs and scales so well especially with the right items if you, if you manage to feed him enough to get him a a, 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 a gun blade or something of else of that nature it could be huge but dynamic walking on in they don't know pixel's gonna be caught there crumbs actually getting that stun first and also gets hugely chunked out dominate needs to flash down back to the back lane paradox will still wants to pursue but everyone's just going to back off for now. A little bit, uh, a little bit worried that they may actually lose someone. 
No, very exciting engage there, but yeah. no kill. And that was a 4v5, and if Lulu, if Patoy had actually been with the rest of his team, yeah. Dignitas had a great opportunity to maybe pick up a kill, and that's that bush is actually, um, it's a pr pretty common spot for a team to sit there, and because of the vision advantage you have, even though Alistar is very tanky early on, you can usually burst someone down really quickly, just because they don't have enough of a reaction time mm -hmm. in order to take you out. Patoy checking <laughs> the bushes on his Good. way will be safe, so, you know, no one going down. Um, it does, you know, hurt Garner's ability for ganks a little bit, it'll hurt Jax in, uh, big time. Like, that's the big threat, is how it'll hurt Jax. Mm -hmm. Because Alistar, he's not, you know, he didn't really use anything. Actually, he didn't use anything. I thought he used his flash. Um, but the big thing is if they can get a gank up top on Jax, and, um, you know, that could maybe set crumbs behind. We could maybe see some early pressure from Nocturne. Yeah, it's going to hurt him, and it's going to hurt him huge. Uh, also, really want to quick, uh, you know, we saw Patoy earlier <laughs> wanting to put that war down. Remember that uh, some abilities of shot into bushes they still have that audio connect, like the Glitter Lance. When that thing hits, it goes, you know, ching, you, you hear it. So very worthwhile to check in situations like that just to make sure that you still don't have someone not errantly waiting in your bush. But both uh, both junglers going to be securing the blue. And yes, there you go. Atlanta is actually making his way top lane to yeah. try and capitalize on this Crumbs who has no flash and no ignite. And neither of them have used their smite, so we'll see whether or not Nocturne moves over to that red, oh. um, or he could actually just steal the golem here. So he's going to take that very quickly with that smite. It's not going to hit him a level up, but it does maybe open up an opportunity where Zion Spartan could level up. And if Zion Spartan hits level two before Crumbs does, that makes their gank twice as potent. Yeah, he's almost, almost there. Like another creep will actually do it in the moment. The moment Zion Spartan hits two, you're going to see Nocturne come on in, and there you go. But a leap strike to Atlanta, and Crumbs will actually get to tower range and to safety. But in the meantime, Patoy down bot lane, getting ignited, does have to flash out of there. Zig getting a lot of chunk damage in, and just, you know, Pixel on Alistar, that's a very aggressive lane. Yeah, and Crumbs, I think he knew that the gank was setting up there because um, you saw Zion Spartan. He was just constantly auto-attacking those minions to try and get the fast level up. Yeah. And that's kind of a big giveaway sign uh, where you can expect the gank. So even though Crumbs was sitting there uh, being really aggressive, he still was fine. Paradoxical oh, taking wow. a lot of damage, though, from that Zyra harass. And that's just, uh, again, Zyra is just so strong at winning that mid lane. That's just mean. That's just plain mean to have that much damage coming in at a level 1. That much slow as well. If there's some jungle presence, if Dominate was nearby, that would have definitely been a kill and first blood. But unfortunately, Dominate did decide to go back, managed to get that regrowth pendant, so he wants that feel, he wants that quick Shirelias that's going to help his ganks so much after he hits six. Yeah, now Scarter making his way up top. Not going to maybe uh, probably be able to get up a gank here, but it does protect him from Nocturne. Though Aurelia is slightly out of position. The stun from Crumbs, they're going to chase him down. Zion Spartan gets off the slow and able to back off without actually using his flash. Nicely done, nicely done. Nice gank deflected there. And Dominus is going to go ahead and after retreat back to his jungle, grab up those wraiths and then find, uh, find hopes elsewhere. Like here, like bot lane, Dynamic, they're pretty pushed up, but then again, that is an Alistar, and there's also, you do have the ward coverage coming from Dynamic as well to go ahead and prevent any disasters. So, uh, if Dominic comes on in, hopefully, hopefully uh, Dignitas knows that the river's where you can go a long way around it and get in through the back. Yeah, and we'll see how that kind of progresses. I mean, Dominate, you know, he has the movement speed where uh, if Lulu gets the slow, uh, he can maybe pick that up. But for the most part, he's going to sit back pretty defensively, um, you know, for a while. Both him and Nocturne will have to sit back until they really have their ultimates before they have that jungle presence. But um, I don't know, we'll see. Crumb's doing a really nice job in the top lane. It is pushing into him, so he is going to be fine. Zion Spartan <laughs> will be able to back off, but both junglers are going to meet here. Oh, man, and you're going to see Skarner gets caught out. Dominate De Atlanta hit that brush first. So you're going to try and focus him down the best they can. Fear Tethers actually go down on Dominate. But the pursuit from Zion Spartan will actually net him the double buff. And now Crumb's at his own tower, has to hide very low mana with a massive wave, and they're going to straight up dive it. Here comes the fear. Atlanta's taking that tower, and Crumb should actually go down pretty quick. Atlanta will be away, fine and safe. Yeah, really nice play, uh, being able to pick up those kills, and Zion Spartan using the flash to get in range to pick up the kill and to dominate, and then uh, being able to tank the turret there, and so um, really nice job. If they can set Aurelia behind, and that or ahead, that could be huge. Uh, Crumb's actually going with the heart of gold, so he can just sit back safely, doesn't mm -hmm. have to worry about any early pressure, so, that, you know, he's not going to be quite as aggressive 
uh, against Aurelia. There's not, it's going to push back the point in time where you might expect Jax to uh, pull ahead of Aurelia. Uh, but they're actually going for the tower. Dynamic, they want the quick tower. It's going down. One more attack. Uh, we'll see. You know, It actually just barely lives. In the meantime, Scar picking up the kill on the pixel. Wow. Wow, just really quick burst. Nice Sitting setup. there waiting for him in the bush. Nice setup and nice notion for Scar to actually make his way on down. But yeah, that top tower has 100 health on it. And Crumbs... He's going to need to stay for a very long time if he backs, period. Oh, Scar getting hugely chunked out there by Para in the mid. But we'll actually get the safety. The Ignite will not grab that kill. But yeah, Crumbs, Crumbs is going to need to chill out top lane for a very long time. If he leaves, it's done. Yeah, so we'll see what he can do to turn that around, but... Aurelia should be in complete control of this lane now, considering that she's going with the Phage. Having that true damage, having the early aggressive item advantage since um, J uh, Crumbs went with the defensive item, uh, Phage will allow her to just chase him down very easily and try and get e even more damage onto him if she gets a Phage proc. So basically what she's just going to do with that red buff, uh, just dive at him. And, you know, whenever, as long as she knows that there's not a gank came up, she can just dive at him. With Nocturne here, they could maybe pick up the skill. She's jumping on him now, gets off the slow, gets off that red buff, dodging the stun for a second, and then the quick blow. Blade Surge back, and now all of a sudden, Crumbs, just no effort at all from Zion Spartan, and Crumbs has to back off. Like, he can't even lane against Zion Spartan right now. What, the very least that he can hang his head on, though, is that when that tower does fall, the wave pushing on down will give him an opportunity to free farm, but for the most part, though, the damage has been done. So now this does open up a little bit of an opportunity for Zion Spartan to run a little bit, but with the right ward coverage, Dynamic can actually continue to push on top lane, further deny Crumbs' farm, and even get a tier two if they're brazen enough. But Crumbs knows he cannot stay here for very long. He's not even six yet. There you go. Now just ding six. Does have that Oh, they're going to dive it again. Are, gonna, are they? Are they? They are. Crumbs, the Nocturnal, going to keep him still just for a bit. The fear goes off at his own tier two. Crumbs is not safe. Yeah, and Scar making his way up there, but not going to be there in time, and Crumbs just can't lane top. And yeah. uh, the big thing is for Dynamic to keep putting on the pressure. And if Aurelia leaves the lane, yes, you're right. It will open up an opportunity where Crumbs can sit in that top lane and farm at that second turret. However, they're so far ahead, and with Nocturne's ultimate, some junglers you would have to boot worry, where if Aurelia is pushed up to the second tier, uh, then the jungler won't be able to catch up far enough in order to get off those ganks. But because Nocturne has that global range ultimate, or you know, long range Semi, ultimate, yep. um, he can engage from anywhere on the map. And so as a result, it allows Aurelia to push safely up top, and then if Skarner gets up there, Nocturne's got her back. And so they can just continue to shut down crumbs in that lane. And mm -hmm. um, I don't know, we'll see what Dignitas can do to come back from it, but really great early aggression from Dynamic. And you know what? Even if Nocturne isn't even in the area, if he's down bot trying to push, guess what? You also have a mobile mid. Oh, they're going for it bottom, though. Oh, they, they should be able to take this actually pretty quick. You got a four-man push to try and deflect this, and you also have Atlanta not too far away. He's actually already started the dragon along with Zion Spartan. So there's just, right now, just that push is just to deflect attention away. It's like, oh, by the way, we're doing dragon. Headbutt coming in from Pixel. Dominate is going to get caught, but right there to Zyra ult, making quick work of Paradoxical. Dominate being that little decoy, just so they can go in and get what they really wanted, which was the Ari. Yeah, really nice play from Dignitas, and that's absolutely what they need to happen. Crumbs, he's going to be able to farm up top lane, so he's going to be able to catch up in some uh, some in this game. He has the Vamp Scepter. We'll see where he's deciding to build, but having that early regen uh, against Aurelia, it'll help counteract some of that lane. But being able to catch up is huge, and then they're able to stall them off to equalize that gold presence, not allow the dragon, pick up the kill. Just a, a number of great things from Dignitas, and it, it was that defensive play. They're able to sit back, and then Scar can just pick people off as Zyra. Um, you know, and just being able to grab Ari, that's huge. Like, if Ari gets caught ever, she's dead, and that's how Dignitas is going to play these fights. Yep, and, you know, with that, though, and it's, it's still, you do have the GP, you do have the GP-10 on an Ari, Ari looking for that DFG, but look at Scar, though, looking for the early Abyssal to just hammer down all that magic damage in those saplings with the kit. That can be huge. Yeah, so we'll we'll see um, how that progresses, but it's it really is a lot of damage going with an abyssal scepter now. Yep. Uh, you know that's definitely going to put on some nasty pressure. Ari won't have the burst damage now to kill Zyra, but Zyra's going to have the follow up. So if mm. Ari you know tries to pursue any aggression, uh, Zyra you know Scar can just turn it around on him. Um, you know, we'll see how that works. Both of them they are equally strong at pushing the lane, so Zyra won't necessarily have to worry about uh, Ari pushing him underneath the turret at all. 
um, and you're trying to shut him down. But uh, right now, Crumbs, he looks like he's a little bit more comfortable at the top. Aurelia not pursuing him. Uh, he will be able to sit there. He's starting to catch up a little bit. He's actually doing a really, really good job, you know, considering the situation he's in. He's only about 750 gold behind, which, you know, in comparison to a lot of other games, could the, the gap could actually be immensely, immensely wider. But with that heart of gold, he's going to be catching up just a little bit. And you'll notice the Zion Spartan going straight in for the Trinity, not getting, uh, not getting GP10s for himself. So it's gonna, it's gonna give some room for Crumbs, and he's not. Uh, He's, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he feels he's behind, but he's not as far behind as he thinks. Yeah, and the big thing is that he can farm a little bit now. Cutie Pie getting some harass on the Zig. But um, if Crumb sits in lane with Aurelia, with that movement speed from the Zeal and with the Phage, Aurelia will be able to chase him down and you know harass him out of lane or maybe even kill him. But because that tower is uh, not there, he can leave lane for a little bit. The, tower, uh, the lane will push back into him. Then he can go up top. He can push it into Aurelia. So they'll actually almost never be in lane together. They're just going to be constantly roaming. And now he has an opportunity where maybe he could force this dragon along with Zyra. They have the kill... Uh, enough damage to take it down. You remember, both of these teams have plenty of damage to sneak quick objectives if the opportunities allow. And if you notice, there is no ward coverage here from, uh, there is no ward coverage here from Dynamic, so they could actually quickly uh, chunk out a Paradoxical, who's just a little bit too far out away from the rest of his team, but Atlanta is here. And you got the junglers in the mid here, uh, mids here in mid looking to defend, but you also got a Zion Spartan a little bit further out, and Atlanta following up with the Sun down in the ultimate. They want to kill Dominate, they want to do it quick, and Scarra with the ult gonna Everyone popped up, but not going to prevent that death. And a Spirit Rush coming in to double kill for Atlanta, but Crumbs. Nice. Getting a yeah, little bit of revenge there. Ari is good. way out of position. Ezreal jumping onto Ari. Ari will be able to pick her up. Cutie Pie with that ultimate from Lulu will be able to grab that kill. So nice job. Um, and, you know, you saw Crumbs making his way up top. He wanted to get some farm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but turning down mid. So uh, doing a nice job. He is going to be able to catch up some. But Graves taking that turret, it is an even exchange, pretty even exchange, even though Dignitas was able to win the fight. Yeah. Um, so they're continuing to put the pressure on the dy uh, dynamic. So we'll, we'll see how that kind of affects the fights. Zig oh, actually chasing <laughs> down Cutie Pie. I think he was trying to force out a flash or something just to scare him a little bit, see if he can't... Uh, you know, it's, it's playing a little bit of a game of chicken there with Cutie Pie. He's like, well, I'm going to dash for you. I bet you're going to flash. I bet you're going to want to try and get out of there. You're, 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 you're going to hit your escape button, I'm sure of it. But Dominate going to be grabbing, uh, you know, help secure that blue for uh, for Scara. But Pixel and Zig, along with Atlanta, they do have something to say about it. It's just a matter of can Dignitas actually pick up the blue quickly enough and good tactics to actually send, you know, keep it there in the bush. But uh, right there, though, you will see Dominate did have to take it for himself. Better he have it than the enemy team. But there is the dragon being picked up. It is resetting a little bit. Oh, but Dynamic should be able to secure it pretty quick. Yeah, so they will get it, but Crumbs, he's catching up once again. He will be able to push down this top turret if he decides to. Um, so he is actually going to go on it, and uh, we'll see if Aureli can get up there in time. But um, I don't know, it's exchanging advantages, and so Dynamic, they're continuing to build on their lead, and they're building up that lead as a team, but it's starting to catch Jackson to lane, whereas there was a point where Aurelia probably could have just shut him down out of the game completely. Uh, so we'll see how that works. Aurelia falling behind in farm, actually, from Jax, despite, you know, mm -hmm. she is still ahead in gold because of those kills and because of the gold pretend, but her lead is diminishing, and so even though as a team they're doing very well, um, Aurelia is kind of falling behind Jax. Yeah, and every time Aurelia pops back into lane, the lead that she had before does go back to uh, its neutral point, which is about 700 gold. Dominate almost getting caught out there. He is pinged down by Dynamic. They know he's over around in their area of the forest, but uh, Dignitas has the right mind. They're going to go ahead and back off. Yeah, so we'll see, um, you know, how Dynamic can continue to pressure it because part of the issue they're going to deal with is the fact that they don't have the best pushing team. Uh, you know, if they can pick someone off from Dignitas and get a quick kill, that'll be, you know, great. They'll be able to push all day. But if uh, Graves is trying to push, then he's too short range. Like, they don't have a means of pushing against Zyra. Zyra can just clear the waves very easily and then try and pick people off any time that they try and push. Zyra's going to try and throw off a root, try and get a kill. Um, so we'll see how that works. The big thing right now for Dynamic is just to continue to farm in lanes and then wait for that next dragon to be up. Take the next dragon, then, you know, see where you can pressure the game from there. Yep. Crumb's doing, you know, like we mentioned before, he's doing a pretty good job at the moment. And also, realizing this too from Scar, Z uh, Zyra, if you have a very quick trigger finger, you can very quickly get down both of those uh, both, both of those seeds and get off that ability. So if someone gets caught up in that root, 
you already have two seeds down. That's going to be a lot of extra damage, plus the slow to contend with. That is, that is a huge amount of burst. Yeah, her damage is phenomenal. Zion Spartan, though, dodging off of, of the uh, stun, actually, from Crumbs, oh. then chasing him down with that movement speed, with the Phage, you know, can just bully him out of the lane. And so right now, Dynamic, there aren't any objectives that they can take, so they're going to be comfortable with sitting back in lane again, allowing Aurelia to continue to build up that lead over top lane. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see how that works. Aurelia does have the Triforce. Jack's building that way, but really far behind right now. He's incredibly far behind. That actually may, uh, may, actually, uh, may actually help just to build him a little bit more tankier. Uh, this time around, too. It's like, when you do have the phage, it's not too uncommon if you want to if you want to beef up. You get that frozen mallet, follow oh, it up Pixel's with the Atlas. going to go for it. Uh, but the ward catches him out, unfortunately, so Dynamic's plans are blown for the time being. But here's the thing, you know, Crumbs, he's still top lane farming, so Dignitas, they really need to they try to push the next one, too. They could push the next one, but Dynamic's actually going to oh, back okay. off here. Yeah, they're, they're uh, you know, comfortable with getting that turret and then getting out of there. The yeah. big thing is Scar was low on both health and mana. So as a result, Scar wasn't able to defend that. Otherwise, they would have been able to stall there a little bit more easily. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dynamic, you know, recognizing that opportunity, they're able to force it. Um, you know, so that's definitely a nice thing for them. So they'll be able to pressure that. Uh, all three outer turrets down. And having Nocturne... That's just such a huge advantage because all the lanes, they can push up to the second turret as long as they have good ward coverage, which they do right now, particularly in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. uh, they can push up to the second turrets and then allow Nocturne to just go to work and try and, you know, engage fights for them while Dignitas is still playing on their heels the entire time. Yep. And you do see Pixel and Zig continuing that aggression, pushing relentlessly. But here comes the Skarner. But you know what? Look at all this good war coverage. Oh, Zyra right might catch them, though. Zyra's trying to cut them off, just barely out of range. Can't quite get in range oh. to Pixel. He's very close, though. The oh. snare just won't land. Not going to hit it. Not going to hit the end of that. But the, oh, the ward coverage, the ward coverage from Dynamic, very, very well done. And that allows them to do an aggressive push yeah. like you just saw and have them get out in time in the event you do have someone from mid actually come on down and try and capitalize. Yeah, so we'll see how... Um, you know, Dignitas can try and catch back in this game because right now they're they're absolutely doing what they need to do, which is just sit back and farm. They have a very strong uh, late game team. Asriel, he's going for that Triforce build a little bit, you know, behind Graves. Um, though they're actually they're pretty even in gold, so they're about dead even. Uh, Graves has a slight advantage, primarily because of the dragons and such, but yep. Graves is going for that Infinity Edge build, which is going to be a lot stronger as far as sustain damage and for taking down those frontline tanks, particularly uh, Jax and Skarner. They're going to die very quickly if they don't get some quick armor into their build, but um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how that works. It, it also is very strong at dueling, so Ezreal has a little bit more burst for dueling, but Graves in teamfights will be a lot stronger. And you got Scar here looking to defend against this push. But uh, Dynamic backing off just a little bit. They want to get their opportunities. They want to see if they can't also force out a kill or going out. And Paradoxal is doing a pretty good job just keeping that wave cleared, making sure that the minions are always, always, always pushing on in to a tower. He also got Zion Spartan do some counter jungling of his own. But now Dignitas are trying to set up a trap here, waiting. By their time, they still have a ward over there by the blue. Can they get Atlanta? Dominate with the flash and the ult. Zyra ult going down as well to cover their tracks. Atlanta will go down very quick. Crumbs is out in front, though. Can't dig that much damage for that long, though. Paradox will try to clean up here. Jax will fall. Paradox will getting chunked out. Patoy falling, and Zion Spartan flashing over the wall, trying to get something. Zig manages to get Skara, and Zion Spartan does connect onto that kill. That is a one for four for Dynamic. Very well done. But Dynam uh, D Dignitas, they almost had something with that. They had a yeah. great initiation. Yeah, no, it was a very close fight for Dignitas. And taking down the Oracles on Nocturne, that could have been huge if they could have gotten out of there. Uh, after there, they were all very low. It looked like they were going to be able to survive. Patoy and uh, Cutie Pie, uh, you know, they were both just barely able to edge themselves out. And so it looked like they had gotten out, but uh, Dignitas or Dynamic able to chase them down. And that's just, it goes along with their gold lead. They're able to uh, bully around Dignitas right now. Scar, unfortunately, couldn't quite hit that uh, flash over the wall, so he went yeah. down as well. But, um, the big thing was just they have so much upfront damage. And uh, Dignitas, they just, you know, they weren't in a very organized position. They were all kind of spread out, uh, you know, because they had to split in order to take down Nocturne. And so they were very vulnerable to all that burst from Ari in particular coming into the back line. Oh, yeah. Uh, being able to dive in behind Zyra and in behind Ezreal and whatnot, and then just burst them down even when they thought they were safe behind their tanks was huge. 
Yeah, and Crumbs also, you know, this shows a little bit uh, to the difference in the farm. But Dignitas trying to rush his dragon, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to finish it off, though. You do have the Fear Terrors come down on the Crumbs, but Pixel goes down real quick. Zion Spartan just now trying to get out of the fight, but Dominate goes down, and this is time to go ahead and re-engage. Cutie Pie trying to shift away, but Paradoxical with a rush is going to try and close the gap. The Roots can only do so much, but Toy managing to just edge it out. Nice. You got the shot coming in. From uh, from Scar, trying to do a little bit extra, but Paradox could still connect Zig on wants this. It. Zig, he's hungry. Ult is not up. Smoke screen, buckshot, oh. nice. Yeah, just barely taking him down there, and um, they will be able to actually maybe take this base turret. So we'll see. Ezreal they got the is support. there. Uh, uh, Crumbs is there actually, so they yeah. won't be able to grab it. Crumbs would take them down, but uh, they can grab the dragon. Yeah, yeah. dragon is still up. Dignitas did not pick it up during that exchange. They got a little bit sidetracked and also they didn't have quite enough damage to finish it off in time, but that's plenty of time now. Dynamic should be able to get it pretty easy. Look at how fast that thing's going. Yeah, and it's, it's, done. it's really interesting how Dynamic's running these fights, playing very safe here. Crumbs walking oh, right into them. No. We'll get snared. The quick damage, the headbutt pulverized, and both him and Dominate will fall very quickly. Uh, Double kill for Aurelia. And he's actually chasing down Cutie Pie. He gets off the stun as well. The Arcane Shift trying to get out of there. Zyra going to turn it around, though. Pixel, he throws off his ultimate, so he's going to be okay. Uh, no, he actually didn't throw off his ultimate, so yeah. uh, he's going to be fine. Oh, oh wow. Oh, 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 oh. Almost 50 health. But the uh, big thing with that. how Dynamic's running fights is they're playing very defensively at the start of the fight. They're making sure that they can kite and allow Zig and uh, Ari to be safe in the back line. And then all of a sudden, once Dignitas turns their backs, then Dynamic's chasing them down. And they have great initiation with Ari and with Nocturne mm -hmm. uh, to chase them down. Um, and so Ari, just, you know, paradoxical, just reaching over great lengths to pick up kills. And Zig stealing the red buff right under Dignitas's nose. You saw Scar with that pursuit, just like, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead. You can just go ahead and leave. But this is, yeah, this is really rough for Dignitas at this point. It's just a matter of thinking, like, what do they, what do they do from here? Yeah, well, the big thing is just sit back defensively. They're 10k yeah. gold behind, so um, you know they have a pretty strong late game team. Um, it, it's questionable, you know, who's the stronger. Dynamics is, I mean, a phenomenal team. Actually, Dynamics is probably stronger. So even if Dignitas waits off, there's going to be a point where, you know, Dynamic is stronger. But right now, they just need to get themselves back in the game. So yeah. if they sit back, farm a little bit, try and pick up members of uh, Dynamic. They need good ward coverage in order to do that. Um, you know, see if they can grab someone with Scarter or, or, or Zyra and then just get out. Like, if, if they get any one kill, they can't fight afterwards because the follow-up for Dynamic is going to be stronger. So they need to just, uh, to just get a kill, get out of there, just, you know, like covert ops kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see. They do have the Oracles on Nocturne. Once again, some quick bursts from Skara going to be able to wear them down a little bit. And you do have those saplings there in the middle of the pit. Also aggravating the Baron, but the charm coming from Paradoxical, this actually should be a Enough burst of Spirit Rush getting on in, but uh, Hulu will not be able to help. No shield will be able to save you from all of that. And she actually that, had the ultimate, but decided not yeah. to use it for Skara. It's and you Skara know wasn't worth it, I guess. It's I with that much chunk coming in. If you're too that far away from the rest of the team, this is just it's not. It's a matter also of can what what can the rest of the team pick up from this? Dominate wants the steal. He's not going to be getting it. He will be going down in the pit also in dynamic with this with this Baron buff. I think may actually just be able to push for the win out right here. Yeah, no, there's there's the game. They recognize it is over. That's uh, it. The surrender for Dignitas. So game number one going down for dominate or for dynamic. Um, you know, really nice play from them. It started off in the top lane, and then yeah. Aurelia she left open opportunities for Crumbs to get back into the game. But there's another issue with Jax, which is why people are shying away from him. the fact that he needs a long early phase. He, uh, Jax needs to just be able to sit top, farm as long as he wants to, mm -hmm. and then wait for you know the game to progress. But uh, Zion Spartan letting him farm up there to try and catch up. But as a result, he was able to snowball the rest of the lanes. He was able to win some fights for them. Yeah. Um, you know, the Alistar in particular, Alistar and Ari were just crushing in those fights mm -hmm. and uh having alistar ari and nocturne was just a very very strong uh team they had great initiation and were able to pick up a number of kills as a result yeah and also crumbs being away from the rest of the team during very critical fights just you just you're just you're just down a man yeah it's just it's not a bad it's not that's not the best situation really to be in and then you saw digging toss they were getting a little bit they're getting a little bit edgy they're getting a little bit tilted they're like you know what we need to get an objective real quick. We need to try and catch up a uh, dragon. Let's do it. Yeah. And they just couldn't finish it fast enough. And it just kind of 
spiral down from there. It's like, well, maybe it's still there. Maybe let's just send two guys out in front to go check. Nope, and just another double kill. It's just yeah. It's a it's a Aureli, bad spot to be in. I mean, in. Aureli is such a strong pick in the top lane, and um, being able to get a double kill in the or well, not a double kill, but start off two and zero oh yeah. is just phenomenal. Being able to pick up the kill in the turnaround against Skarner, and then being able to dive the turret, uh, it's just it's very difficult to come back from that. So uh, we'll see if Dignitas if they don't you know throw up those quick early two kills, how if whether or not they're in the game and whether or not they can make it happen. Remember, folks, this is a best of five. We could have a potentially a very long night ahead of us. So in the meantime, remember, IGN.com slash IPL. Go to the news section. Scroll on down. We're giving away five $50 RP cards. The contest link is there. I assure you. Look for it. It's there. All you need to do is hit a whole bunch of buttons, and you can be entered in to win one of those. We will be back in just a little bit. Game number two, Dynamic and Dignitas. This is the grand finals for the NAIPL Elites.